you a series of uh, missions that we did to the moon. The Chandrayaan 1 was a remote sensing mission with a moon impact probe to do certain uh, elemental evaluation which was hugely successful from its scientific uh, outcome in terms of its finding of the water on the moon, various elements on the moon. The Chandrayaan 2 became very important because of the orbiter that we had, we, it had inst in excellent instruments uh, including the orbital high resolution imaging camera which gave uh, the highest ever resolution image of the moon compared to any other nation. And we uh, corroborated the finding of the Chandrayaan 1 uh, with the Chandrayaan 2 measurements. And in fact, in Chandrayaan 1 we had 10 instruments from other nations as well. So, all of them Indian and uh, other nations. So, Chandrayaan 3 is also similar to Chandrayaan 2, but with an intent of soft landing. So, if you talk about the benefit to the nation, there are many aspects of it. There, there are scientific benefit which is in terms of its uh, scientific outcome which we have already talked about, joint work which we do with other science, scientific establishment across the globe including other spacefaring nations. And it also has a contribution in terms of the national prestige and our role in the future of moon exploration. So, when everybody is going to moon uh, in terms of the as a resource and uh, looking at it as a possible habitable place or a possible place to travel beyond solar system or even to go to other planets of the solar system moon becomes a base. India need to have a its own right in deciding the fate of the moon or the future of the moon as far as its further exploration is concerned. So, we are a rightful as a spacefaring nation to claim our uh, role in that as much as we do in places like the Antarctica.